This is the modified trickle-down solar collector kit. Uh, this is just part of the materials that you'll be needing to build a 2x4 collector. Uh, after you build this collector and understand the basic concepts, you should be able to build a 2 foot by 8 foot collector, a uh, 2 foot by 12 foot collector, or if you really understand what's going on, you should be able to build a 4 foot by 12 foot collector. But the basic concepts will always be the same. And the uh, other nice thing about MTD uh, collector systems are the way the collectors all fit together to form an array. Uh, the plumbing is very simple. Uh, they're fairly easy to build and they're fairly easy to install and they're not very expensive. Alright, so this is what your basic kit will look like. And the first thing you'll see will be this uh, black material. This is uh, polyester felt. It's made from recycled bottles and uh, it has a very high temperature uh, resistance but it also has the amazing uh, ability to conduct water almost like a blotter. So when when you trickle water on this material it runs, it saturates the material and, and it follows the, the basic laws of gravity. So after uh, the water has been solar heated, uh, you'll be using this gutter uh, to collect the solar heated water. Okay, uh, and we'll talk about that in just a moment. Uh, before we get into that, uh, I want to show you the, the most important part of this uh, structure right now. And this is something called the trickle-down chamber. I'll, take, I'll just put the other parts here for now. Uh, now this is made from a steel stud slot and you'll be able to make this also. The position of the holes are, are very important so I took the liberty of making this myself. Uh, after, the, after you build your first collector you should be able to make these yourself. As a matter of fact you can make uh, different uh, modifications of this that would be more suitable for different size collectors. Anyway, uh, this is a great one to get started with. Um, this is the trickle-down chamber. This is where uh, the water from the trickle-down tube uh, will go uh, and uh, be trickled down on the uh, polyester felt material. Uh, now, uh, all right, I think the next best thing to do would be to show you uh, the trickle-down tube. So the trickle-down tube is uh, is inside this little package. Just put this on as a protection. So let's take this out first. This is the trickle-down tube. It's made from a heater hose and if you look really carefully you should be able to see a little spigot right here. This is where the water comes out. Now I only have two spigots on this heater hose. If you want, you could add more spigots, but uh, this is uh, this is great uh, for your first uh, collector. That's all you you'll really need. Um, now, remember, this is going to be the trickle down chamber, and this is where the tubes uh, this is where the tube will be installed after this is bent, and you'll be installing these. Uh, these supports. These are, uh, these are called uh, trickle-down tube supports. Uh, the, and the, the tube will, will just slide right through here. It doesn't have to fit snugly. Um, it's just uh, used to support the tube without rubbing against the uh, sharp steel stud slot. Because if you, you rub on this too much, you're going to cut into the tube. And we don't want to do that. Uh, it serves other functions also, but um, okay. So you're going to have two of these, and they're both a little bit different. This is for the right side, and you can see this is marked with an R. Let's turn it this way. Okay, this is the right side of your collector, and the other one is your left side. And you also have an an R and an L marked on your trickle-down supports. 
So you just place it in here like this. Uh, now you're not going to install this right away, but after you finish uh, building the frame, that's a good time to install it, just to, to practice, to make sure that you, you line these up with the, uh, the holes and, uh, and get the screws in the right position. Okay, so you have your trickle-down tube supports, you have your trickle-down tube, you have your trickle-down chamber, uh, you'll also be using these things. Uh, this is called a rubber bumper, and uh, I'll be sending you three of these. They're fairly easy to make. Uh, you'll see with the other videos how they're installed on the cross supports to gently hold uh, the mylar material, material in place. Oh, we haven't uh, looked at the mylar material yet. This is the, um, the mylar material, and this is what's used to uh, contain the water in the polyester felt. This is what's used to make uh, the trickle-down mat. And you notice that this is 5 mil of mylar film. 5 mil mylar film. It's uh, 24 inches long and it's uh, 29 inches wide. Uh, that's a, a great uh, size of to install inside our trickle-down frame. Now we're not going to be using the, these right away. Okay, so you can put this away and you can you can also put this inside your gutter and uh, also uh, pack up your your trickle-down your TDD. This is called the trickle-down distributor. Put all these things away for now. Uh, but uh, the first uh, thing you're going to be using, the two things that you're going to be using right away will be the trickle-down chamber and the end, the end flanges for the cross supports. So leave those out, put everything else away, and uh, oh, also put this uh, polyester felt away. We'll be using that a little later, but that should be enough to get you started. Okay. So you've got the basic idea of what's in the kit, uh, and uh, you'll see from the videos the other materials that you'll need. Uh, also, part of the kit is an instruction manual, and you'll also have a, a number of videos you can look at to help you through the construction process. And I have faith in you. And if you have any problems at all, all you have to do is email me, and I should be able to talk you through just about any problems that come up. All right, good luck with your MTD collector kit, and keep on trucking! Oh, I just realized the 5 mil sheets of Mylar are 29 inches wide and 48 inches long. Also, there are four Burger Brother bibs included with each kit. For more information, just Google MTD Solar Collector Kit.